So the question is, why would you want a Bitcoin wallet? Basically, it has a ton of advantages, especially being a money system usable over the Internet. Um, you just can't fit cash through your computer screen. You can't shove cash through your telephone. And so basically, technology has the answer to have a better, more secure um, system for transfer from person to person. Um, basically, one of some of the features is super high security. Um, to brute force crack a seed or a private key, it takes com current computer technology half a billion years to crack any particular seed or private key. Um, basically, whatever you do, don't give your seed out to anybody because then they can steal your account. Bas another thing is you want to write it down because it's not you can't ask anybody for another copy of your seed. The security is up to you. Write it down and put it in a safe place that nobody can get a hold of it. Um, the other thing things about Bitcoin Cash Wallet, there's no minimum balance fees. If you got $100 or less in your account, you're not going to have anybody charging you fees just because you don't have enough money in your account. And there's no monthly or yearly fees either. It's, it's, it's amazing because there is no fee system to keep charging you. Um, and also, if you try to spend more than what's in your account, it doesn't work. It will not process. Um, the software just won't let you do it. There can be no overdraft charges. I paid a few overdraft charges in the past, like 30 bucks, because people would give me checks that were bad. And then I get hit twice. Not only do I get somebody that's not paying, I wind up having to pay $30 overdraft fees, and that really hurts. Um, extremely low transaction fees, less than one cent. And actually, in the past, it's been about 0.4 cents to transfer any amount of money you want, from 25 cents to millions of dollars. Um, basically, 0.4 cents. And there's a few catches there about um, how much data they got to process to tr process the transaction, because it may come from multiple different um, wallet addresses. But basically, it's pretty damn cheap. Um, no chargebacks. Once money's put in your, or once the funds are put in your wallet, they cannot take your money back. Um, no restrictions on sending and receiving payments. Like I think I just said that, but basically you can send a 25 cents or a million dollars. There's no limits on your account. Um, your account can never be frozen. <laughs> I don't see how anybody wouldn't want some account that can never be frozen. Uh, no red tape to get a wallet. You don't have to worry about names, addresses, social security numbers, or any applications like that to get a wallet. Now, another cool thing about the Bitcoin Cash wallet is, actually, it's Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. There, there's a difference between those. Do not get them confused. You can lose your money tr if you send it to the wrong address. You must make sure if it's Bitcoin Cash, it goes to a Bitcoin Cash address. But yeah, you can get 20% off at purse.io because a lot of people want the cryptocurrency. They think, see a future for it. And basically, I believe it is not going away no matter how much some people complain. Um, now, the other thing is it's a lot of people can't get a bank account. They don't have to. Maybe they've had a, some bad check issues in the past and they've been blacklisted or whatever. Bitcoin Cash Wallet doesn't have that problem. And there's actually a bunch of different wallets you can choose from. Just go to your Play Store or your Apple Play, Pay, uh, Apple Store, whatever, and you can find the wallet you that will work. Um, basically, it makes it easier for poor people to make financial transactions. Even in third world countries, some com countries have destroyed their currency by printing and printing and printing more problems, trying to print money out of their out of their deficits. Or, you know, it's, it's just horrible what's going on. Now the question is, is what about? E so the question is, is what about escrow wallets? or escrow style transactions with multi-signature wallets. Well, the cool thing about it is kind of like a check. Um, regular checking accounts, you only need one signature. The person that's on the account can sign a check and it becomes a valid check. Though well, checks are actually absolutely crappy security because anybody can forge a signature. Although they did make a big improvement in a thing called com checks that a lot of truck drivers know about. And basically the com check isn't worth a damn unless it's got a signature on it, an authorization number. Well, Bitcoin's basically the same, similar. As far as the authorization number goes, they got a signature on them, and the, and the transaction isn't worth anything unless it has a valid signature. And again, that's based off the private key, and again, that's high security, half a billion years to crack. Now, there's another type of old checking system, which was a two-signature check. Basically, the check wasn't worth anything unless you had both signatures. 
and basically Bitcoin created the same way it's built right into the blockchain where you cannot process a transaction unless it has both valid signatures and what the cool thing about that is if you have a, a, a Bitcoin account with two, a two signature wallet um, basically the, the brute force crack that would probably take about a billion years because you'd have to crack both signatures uh, basically that creates a double the security now the other cool thing about it is let's say you want to do a financial transaction with somebody but you don't want them doing an advanced fee scam on you because as we talked about up here there's no chargebacks you can't get your money back if you send it to somebody's wallet directly um, what you can do though is you can actually create a two signature wallet with the other person you want to deal with and basically deposit the funds in the two signature wallet and you don't sign off to release that s the funds until the other person delivers in what they're promising you basically it creates an escrow style wallet um, and what we're trying to say is two people would have to agree on the funds transfer now the catch is is what if you come to a deadlock and you just absolutely can't make an agreement about how much money and which you can, where to transfer the funds. Well, you can actually have an arbitrator added to the wallet too, and the ar only reason you would need the arbitrator is it to break any sort of a tie or a deadlock. And basically, you would have to have two signatures out of the three parties involved in the multi-signature wallet. Basically, it makes it very, very safe. Okay, here's the thing I want today. Basically, I sold a Striker 497 and I'd like to get another one. But I don't really want to pay $347 for this one, so I'd like to get a little bit better of a deal. And that's 330 is a little bit better. But I think I can do even better yet. One of the problems is I only got so much funds in my account right this minute. Um, give me a second. Anyways, in order to buy that radio that I'm looking for, I've only got $27 in my account, and I need more funds. So, what can we do about this? Well, let's see if we can't do something about this. I'm on the Bitcoin. We can't no, never ever get these confused. I have some a little bit of Bitcoin cash put away. We're going to flip over to this one. Um, if you can see, it says no funds currently held in Ecro, so I've got complete a access to this 0 0.025 Bitcoin cash, but it really doesn't add up to much. Like I said, the total balance I've got is $27 worth. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come over here, click copy this, and this is the address I can send some Bitcoin to in order to fund the account. So what we're going to do, and click paste in this, now this is an important step here. Take and visually look at this address. And you can see it says 7D6GUHAY. Just compare it to this, 7D6GUHAY. Because you want to make sure that it gets copied and pasted correctly because some people can definitely take your funds if you've got some sort of a virus on your system. Let's look at this one, 4667. We'll check this again. 4667. That looks good. We should be pretty safe here. And the question is, is how much do we want to transfer? I'm going to need a little bit less than 300, but I think I'm just going to send the whole amount that I've got available. And we're going to set the fees up there to two Satoshis a byte, which is next to nothing. It'll go a little bit faster. But basically, I think I'll write in here Striker as a little mental note of what I use the money for. And we'll just go ahead and click send. It's going to ask me for a password. And click OK. It's going to charge me two cents for this transaction because I upped the fee just a little bit. Broadcasting the transaction and basically the payment sent. Now it may take a few minutes for the um, payment to process. Click this one, get this out of the way. Well, I got the contract put out there. Um, we got about 28% savings. Um, basically, we're just going to have to wait for somebody to pick it up. 
The original price was 247 after all the discounts and fees and stuff. Um, we're looking about 265 bucks for this striker 497. So fingers crossed, we'll see what happens. Well, here's the striker 497 that showed up. Got the gift receipts in here and looks really nice. Amazing that they're able to get that stuff shipped out in 24 hours and be on your doorstep. Wow, look at this. Just yesterday somebody accepted my um, contract and they went ahead and sent me a radio and it arrived today. Now the last step in the process is i got to come over here and I've already looked at the box. I know it showed up. Really nice looking radio. And I just got to click the little check box, confirm delivery, and they got their Bitcoin that they wanted. Actually, it was BTC, or no, BTCH, but, B yeah, but it's, they got what they wanted.